Σε ονόματος των μη εγγεγραμμένων, το λόγο έχει η συνάδελφος κυρία Ντότς για δύο λεπτά. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, Commissioner. This joint debate covers four important components of fisheries policy. And at the outset, I would like to applaud uh, the rapporteurs for their hard work in progressing these matters through the Fisheries Committee. The new common fisheries policy, when it arrives, will have a bearing on every one of the subjects, a discard ban, maximum sustainable yield and regionalisation are all issues that have come to the fore as the reform has progressed. Coming from Northern Ireland, I want to highlight the importance of the small-scale fleet and uh, the work that the Rapporteur has done on this particular report. However, I want uh, to pose, uh, for me, a very important question uh, for the Commissioner and uh, for colleagues here tonight. And I want to focus on an aspect of the reform that I think is absolutely pivotal to a successful reform, and that is the issue of regionalisation. We all agree that regionalisation is important. It is important for streamlining bureaucracy and management. It is important for the more efficient protection of fish stocks. It's important for the working together of the scientific community and the catching sector, be it in the Baltic Sea, be it with shark finning or with queen scallop fishing, as uh, in uh, Mr. Gallagher's report. What I would like to see is this Parliament reflecting in the weeks ahead on what it really wants from EU fisheries policy. Because it seems to me that there is a tendency for us to simply want to secure a power base for various EU institutions rather than what I would like to see as a pragmatic approach to fisheries policy that will benefit fish stocks, those who depend upon them in the cash catching sector and those who depend upon them for food and sustenance. Thank you. Ευχαριστώ πολύ κυρία Ντότς. Ε, ακολουθούν οι άλλοι εγγεγραμμένοι ομιλητές. Το λόγο έχει ο συνάδελφος κύριος Βέρνα Κούν για δύο λεπτά. Danke, Herr Präsident, verehrte Frau Kommissarin. Als Berichterstatter für die Situation des Wildlachses in der Ostsee möchte ich mich in erster Linie